Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And we're coming to you again with another deep insight into one of the mistakes that I made as I was trying to grow my coaching business. So if you've been following this series, which I started last week, and there's, so there's not many, too many videos out there right now that's talking about this, but there's probably around about three videos where each on, on each video, I am actually outlining a mistake that I made on my journey to growing my first six figure um, in coaching sales. And the reason why I'm doing this is because seriously, right, if this is your journey, right, if you want to hit six figures um, in coaching sales, either within 12 months or within a quarter or within six months or within a month, right, there's, what I want to do is like outline the mistakes that I made. And if I can bring this to your awareness, where you're thinking, well, yeah, I'm doing that as well. And that was a mistake that Andy made. So I need to stop doing this. I need to pivot. I need to obviously uh, course correct in order to get your results quicker, right? And with ease, easier. So I've covered a lot of mistakes. If you've not watched any of those, then I highly suggest to go and watch some of those videos because they could potentially like save you months, if not years, of working relentlessly and not, not getting the results that you want, okay? So everything that I do is simply about one, yeah, simplifying it. And number two is like eliminating risk. Because if you carry on doing the things that you're doing, right, that's not working for you, right, there's a high risk factor of you not achieving your results. And this is one of the reasons why I'm bringing this to you uh, inside this, this uh, series of, you know, me outlining my problems so you don't have to, right? So you can avoid the problems. Uh, even if you've not experienced or uh, hit these problems yet, you can think, well, I am certainly not going down that path. I am not going to do that because I know that from Andy's experience, that doesn't work. So <clears throat> if you're catching me live, let me know, hashtag live. If you're catch me, catching this on replay, let me know, hashtag replay. If you've got any uh, questions based around what I'm going to be talking about inside this short live, then all you have to do is just um, post them underneath this um, awareness video and awareness training, train, uh, aware, aware, awareness live, and I'll get back to you at some point, potentially tomorrow now, because it's now 10 past seven in the evening and I am closing down. Okay, so <clears throat> let me bring this to you. So another mistake that I made when I was um, growing my business is that I didn't have a client getting strategy. I didn't have a strategy that um, allowed me to intentionally show up each and every day to execute on, right, to bring business in the door, right, bring business in the door. So another way of saying that is that I was just showing up each and every day and I was basically winging it, right, I was basically winging it. I was basically like throwing mud at the wall and I'll say mud and not shit, but there you go, I've said it. But that's what I was doing, right? I was throwing mud at the wall, um, hoping that something would just stick. Hoping that if I just did enough of this stuff, right, whatever they may, might have been in that minute, that moment in time, that something was just going to stick, something was going to work, and it was going to bring clients. And it's a very, very passive way of growing a business. It's a very passive way of growing a business. And what we're doing is, or what I was doing is, I, I didn't know what was going to work. I had no idea if it was going to work or if I was going to crash and burn, right? Um, so it's a very passive way of growing a business. It meant that I was out of control in building my business. If, I'm, if, if, if I was out of control in building my business, that means I wasn't in control of earning money. I couldn't predict where my next client was coming from. I didn't, I couldn't predict like what the next time I was going to get paid. I couldn't predict the next time I was going to earn money. And that's not, 
you don't want to be in that position. I was in that position for the first 18 months of me growing my coaching business, right? So, like I said, right, that put me in, I was a very passive state, very passive state. I would do things on social media. I would be posting all the time on social media. And my mindset, well, you know, I've posted all this stuff. Now I'm just going to sit back. And because this is amazing stuff that I'm creating, I'm now just going to sit back and I'm just going to wait for people to send me DMs. I was going to wait for people to comment underneath the post to say that they wanted to work with me, right? Or send me an email. And seldom did it happen, right? I was, I was waiting for the marketplace to come to me. I was waiting for, waiting for the marketplace to come to me. And again, it's a very passive approach. I, what I needed, I needed something that took me from being passive to being proactive. And the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention today, this specific training or video, is because I see a lot of coaches also making the same mistake, right? They're being very passive in their approach to building their business, in their approach to getting clients, in their approach to generating sales, in their approach to bringing cash in the door, right? And you can't build a business by being passive, waiting, expecting, wishing, open, relying on somebody to come to you. And here's the thing about this as well, right? Is that there's millions and millions of other people in the world that's doing the same as you. There's millions and millions of other people in the world that's doing the same as I was doing. So why would they come to me? Why should they come to me? Right? So that's like, that's me being passive. I needed something that allowed me to be proactive. Something that put me in the driver's seat of my business. Something that um, I could intentionally execute on each and every day, right? To bring clients in the door. To Well, first of all, to generate leads. Every business needs leads, right? Leads is the lifeblood of your business, of my business, of everybody's business. First and foremost, if we can't generate leads each and every day, right, then we're never going to be in a position where we can actually grow our business. Never, ever, 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 ever. Every business needs leads. Baseline 101 of marketing or business growth, right? So I needed a strategy that, I, that would intentionally allow me to generate leads each and every day. And then I needed a strategy that would position me as somebody with expertise that actually could solve my leads problems, right? So I needed um, the right content strategy that I could position in front of the right people that one, could get them over the trust hurdle so they quickly trusted me, they believed in me and they could also see that I got a solution that could solve their problem. And then I needed a... a um, a strategy in order to convert the people that had been listening to my content into booked calls. Now, this is not me relying on people to come to me, right? That's like, if you're waiting for that to happen, you're going to be waiting a long time. If you want to grow a six-figure business, right, then you need to be in control. We need to be in control. You need to be in control. Everybody needs to be in control because you've got dreams to build, right? You've got dreams to, to achieve. You've got a lifestyle that you want to live. You've got a business that you want to build. So it's not about like giving them control of you reaching your destination, but it's about you taking control of your destination. And if you want it to happen, then it's up to you to make it happen. So that means that we need to be proactive. I needed to be proactive in actually to grow my business. I needed a strategy that I could intentionally execute on each and every day that would generate me leads, that would position my expertise, authority positioning, right? That I could uh, convert people that consume my material into booked calls, whether I could invite them to a call, fill my calendar with people that need my help, and then I understood, how, learned how to close those people, right, to into paying clients. So right now, if your strategy, or not so much of a strategy, means that you're just throwing things at the wall, right, wishing, open and praying that things are going to happen, 
Like if I just do this all day long, right? Something's got to work. Something's got to stick, right? It's a very passive approach. So if you're taking a passive approach, right, what you need to, what you need to do is think, okay, <clears throat> am I in the am I in the driver's seat of my business? Is what I'm doing today, right, generating me leads today? Is what I'm doing today booking me calls today? Is what I'm doing today generating me sales today? Because if it's not, then it's a very passive approach. And you need to be more proactive by sitting in the driver's seat, buckling yourself in, being unapologetically, right, growing your business. Being unapologetically growing your business. So... Have a think about that, right? Are you taking a very passive approach? Or are you taking a proactive approach? If you're taking a passive, passive approach, right, and you want to have a conversation about what it looks like to be more proactive in growing your business, to generate leads, to have content that converts in order to book calls, in order for you to make sales, in order for you to get more clients on a more consistent basis and earning the money that you want to earn, sorry, excuse me, on a more consistent basis, then shoot me a message, right? Send me a DM and maybe use the keyword um, proactive. Just use the keyword proactive inside DMs, inside my messenger, and I know where you've come from, and we'll strike up a conversation. I get to know more, a little bit more about your business, where you want to go, what you've tried, what's not working, and then I can help you outline and understand what's stopping or what's missing inside your business that's holding you back from actually, you know, taking uh, control of your business so you can move forward. Um, all you have to do is either just um, hashtag, what did I say? Hashtag proactive underneath or just send me a DM, hashtag um, proactive and we'll strike that conversation. Okay, then guys, so that's one of the key um, mistakes that I made, again, along with all the other mistakes, right, that I brought to you in this series, series that I'm doing, one, this one mistake is that I was not proactive in building my business, which means I was in control in building my business, generating cash, bringing clients on board, and building security, creating security in my business, right? There's nothing more powerful than knowing that your business is predictable, right? And pre pre predictability from a standpoint that, look, I know from what I'm doing today, right, I can predict how much money I'm going to earn in the next 30 days or in the next 60 days or in the next 90 days or in the first quarter of 2023, right? Because that brings confidence. That brings certainty, right? That puts you in a position of where you're going from just survival mode, right, to actually being in thrive mode. So, I'm going to love you and leave you. That's all I've got for today. Um, so, I hope you found some value in that. I'm sure you have somewhere along the lines. Again, if this aligns with you um, and you've got any questions, just comment those questions underneath and I'll get back to you potentially tomorrow now because it's now 20 past 7 and I am now going to go and um, spend the rest of the evening with the kids.